Hi Techie guys, I'm Nankishor Swami and in this tutorial we would be learning about how to deploy a project uh, or an RPA bot on a target machine. So in the previous tutorial we learned about how to build a case uh, on Pega PRPC, then how to build a robot that can run with the uh, coordination of our Pega PRPC case and then we publish that uh, solution on the package server. And now in this tutorial, we would be learning about how to deploy that solution on the target uh, RPM machines. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Let's go to the robot manager. So click on the interface and choose robot manager. Okay. So here you can see there is no uh, robot and basically in the Pega robotic there is no technically there is no concept of registering a bot uh, similar to ui path automation anywhere or blue prism so we do not need to register any bot on the pack uh, on the robot manager but we basically deploy the packages to either uh, a work group or department or an operator id so let's uh, select the project that we are going to deploy. That is our RPA test. And select the environment where you want to deploy that uh, project. So I'm going to choose uh, development. Or you can choose any of these. That doesn't make any difference. So choose the version so so since we just published only the one version of that project so we'll select that one if we have multiple version of the same uh, project then it should display all the version there so here we can see our uh, project has uh, been deployed in the development uh, environment you can choose any of the other environment that basically doesn't make any difference then click on assign and here we can see there are three different uh, options available to assign this package work group department and then user user is basically operator id and the work group here here for this particular project we are going to use the work group and this is the same work group which we created while building our rpa uh, pega prpsc rpa case uh, so just hit the drop down arrow just the down arrow and it should display that available work group. So I'll select that work group and click on the next and click on next. And click on next. Then click on assign. So basically this particular solution or the bot is being assigned to a work group so anyone any of the runtime or the machine running under that work group should automatically be assigned this project so now let's run our runtime so before we run the runtime just make sure your config file and the runtime co uh, config have the appropriate configuration so go to your run then c drive program open span and common config just to make sure we have the appropriate work group there so if you scroll it right so this is same work group which we are using or which we are using to assign the package from robot manager and then go to your runtime config folder which is in app, dev, uh, app data then open span and runtime config just to make sure
your package server URL there and the settings that is enabled to true SSL true port 9443 allow region asterisk and then pega server url this is all about runtime config and in the common config we also need to make sure our rpa is true so our configuration is all good now we'll run the runtime since i do not have the runtime explicitly installed on my system so i'll just go to the program 86 folder then open span i do not have runtime so I'll just go to the OpenSpan uh, Studio and locate my runtime there. Just the runtime, OpenSpan.runtime, exe. So it should be here. So I'll just run it. As you see on the dashboard, there is no robot is being registered here and we really don't need to register any of the robot. So once your runtime will uh, start, it should ask you to these credentials. So just use the same operator ID which we created while building the RPA, PRPC case. So it's admin at the rate nks dot com and your password. retype the password click on ok so it should automatically connect to your package server and robot manager based on the configuration that we supplied uh, in the config file and the runtime config file there we go so here we can see the uh, our runtime had started and loaded the, the assigned solution from robot manager okay let's go and create a case now so let's run the case manager now our rpa bot is being deployed here so if you go to the case manager create a case under the RPA case. So let's uh, enter my name here with none. And once I click on the done, RPA bot should automatically pick up this case and start processing. And you can see our runtime is being started and if you see the packets which is being loaded and it has started picking the case from our 